Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you or teaching you how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies easily in Nigeria, the easiest method. Now you know some weeks ago CBN placed the ban on the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies directly from your bank account, which means that if you should buy and sell cryptocurrencies directly from your bank account, your account will get blocked. It's an order by CBN. So that day I made a video of how you can buy or sell cryptocurrencies with the P2P trading platform on Binance. And a lot of people that are not using Binance, people that are using um, Roku, Luno and other apps, you're asking me, what about those of us that are not using Binance? So in this video, guys, I'll be making this video for those of you that are using Roku, Luno or any other app apart from Binance. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Don't skip any part and I'll be teaching you how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies easily in Nigeria. But if you, this is your first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Femi Olani. I make content on personal finance, savings, investment, and how you can make money online and how you can even manage your finances. So if you love money conversations and you really want to make money, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video. Please and please like this video. Now to how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies easily in Nigeria. Now, for those of you that are using Roku, I'll start with Roku first. Now, the first thing you should do is to log in into your Roku account. Go up here and click on login and then log into your account. Now, this is the home page of Roku once you log in. Now, the first thing you're going to do is to deposit money into your um, Roku account. So, let's say for example, you want to buy Bitcoin, so you have to deposit money. Deposit, you click on deposit here. So, once you click on deposit, it will show you how much you want to, um, you put in how much you want to deposit. Let's say for example, you want to deposit 10,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira. So, it will give you the amount in USD also here, yeah, as you can see. That's $19. Then you click on proceed with the deposit. Now, these are the four ways you can deposit money before. But now, peer-to-peer -peer is the only one you can use. You can use um, wallet to wallet, bank transfer, debit card, because of the CBN um, ban. So, you click on peer-to-peer here. -peer, yeah. So once you click on peer to peer, it's going to select bank account you are paying with. And make sure you must have your bank account linked with your Roku. Just go to settings, you, you will see how you can do that. So once you put in your bank account, it shows you select the bank account you want to pay with. So I'm paying from this my bank account. So I'll click on proceed. So after clicking on proceed, as you can see, if you come down, you will see people that want to sell. Okay, so as of now, it's only just one person that wants to um that you can deposit with sorry that you can deposit with so this is the name of the person d limit that you can send to this account is 500 naira to 5 million naira the person is using access bank deposit gets completed in under five minutes verified by roku so once you once you want to deposit just click on the person it's only one person that is here sometimes you may have two or three persons just click anyone you can see it's verified by roku you can see it right here so you click on deposit with d now once you click on deposit with d it's going to show you um the details that you need now as you can see let's go up pay to kindly make sure you use this as your transfer narration else your funds will be lost now this is one thing that is very important you can see this transfer narration if you are going to be using your bank app you will pay please where you'll be entering and entering the transaction um narration make sure this this is what you put there this is this digit that is there make sure this is what you should put there now this is the bank name access bank this is the account number of the person you are sending money to and this is the account name and it will show you the account you are paying from under and then you go to your um, bank app and then you make the transfer and once you've made the transfer you come back and click on i have made the payment and in less than five minutes the money will appear in your wallet in less than five minutes to appear here your balance it will appear here now let's say for example you already have your money deposited there and now you want to buy bitcoin it's just simple just click on buy or sell here then you want to um, buy instantly then you click on the coin you want to buy let's say for example you want to buy um let's say ethereum just click on ethereum now you're going to enter let's you know i don't have any money there but let's say since you've already deposited ten thousand so just put in ten thousand error is that i don't think it's going to go okay so you, so you're going to get 0 0.0122 ethereum it's, it's saying it's sufficient balance deposit but that's because i don't have any money which is so that is how you can buy cryptocurrencies on roku now let's take for example um we want to sell our ethereum after buying i want to sell it's just the same thing click on sell here instant sell now once you click on instant sell click on ethereum 2 now ethereum once you, you just enter the amount of ethereum until i have um 0 0.013 so let me see if i want to sell 0 0.013 ethereum so it's going to show you here you want to sell this this is your service charge then you will get 10,000 10, naira. so that's how much i'm going to get and once i press accept i'll enter my transaction code and then i'm going to get the money in my wallet here now let's say for example you want to withdraw your money to your bank account it's just it's just simple too so i just click on the withdraw 
and after you click on withdraw you can see withdraw to um bank account here once you click on withdraw to bank account then you enter the amount you want to um withdraw here let's say for example we want to withdraw ten thousand naira. i don't have up to ten thousand naira in the wallet so is that this is insufficient balance here but it's just simple once you click on once you enter your amount and then you click on proceed it's going to you're going to select your bank details you're going to put in your bank details and then it's going to send they are going to send your money into your bank details immediately in less than five minutes so that's how you can buy sell or even deposit and withdraw your money from roku now to how you can do it on luno now for those of you that are using um luno there are some people that have been complaining that they have some coins in luno but there's no way they can sell those coins because there's no p2p on luno yet so in this video guys i'll be showing you how you can sell your cryptocurrencies in luno or maybe transfer it to another wallet if you want to now the first thing you're going to do is to um, once you log into your wallet into your account just go to wallet and this is your wallet here just tap on wallet once you click on wallet you see all the cryptocurrencies you have on luno now i don't really i don't use luno at all these are um, coins i got from referrals so the first thing you're going to go into, this next thing you're going to do is to convert all your cryptocurrencies to xrp so if you have bitcoin ethereum bch and other coins just make sure you convert them to xrp this is xrp here yeah, ripple just make sure you convert so if i want to convert my btc to ripple now i'm going to click it on, on btc now after clicking on btc you click on sell now once you click on sell you're going to see choose the um, choose the currency you would like to sell for now i want to sell it for xrp so you're going to click on um, xrp and then you're going to select max so you are converting everything you're going to select max and then you click on next i can transfer my own now because i think i don't have up to the minimum you can see it you can see below here just check the amount is lower than minimum because i think it must have at least i think five thousand hour worth of um, bitcoin if I'm, if I'm wrong please correct me in the comment section so after you convert all your coins you're going to do the same for xm eth if you have eth for example just click on your eth and click on um sell and then you're going to tell which coin you want to sell for and click select xrp so that's how you're going also once you um you've converted all your coins to xrp now the next thing you're going to do is you will need a binance account so you go open the binance account so if you want to open a binance account and you go, though i'll just use the link in my description you're going to get five percent of your money back so after you um, already um you've created a binance account so this is my own binance account now after creating your binance account you go to deposit this is deposit here go to deposit now after clicking on deposit now deposit so we want to deposit crypto so you enter the crypto you want to deposit here we want to deposit xrp so let's type in the name xrp yeah so this is it here as you can see so you're going to select xrp now it's going to show us the wallet address and the and the tag now if you come to this side here as you can see here xrp is different from bitcoin you know, for bitcoin you only enter the wallet address but for xrp you must enter the wallet address and the xrp tag as you can see look at this notice here please enter both tag and address data which are required to deposit xrp to your binance account successfully now so you are going to copy your um xrp address here and your xrp tag once you copy then you take it to your luno account now so you click on x um click on xrp that's my xrp assuming you've already converted already then you click on um, sorry send you click on send after you converted all your coins to xrp and you've copied your wallet address so you click on send here yeah? so once you click on send it's going to show you okay send to so you put the wallet address here yeah? while xrp tag you put the xrp tag you've copied from binance account from your binance account and then you put the amount of xrp you want to send let's say you want to send everything put in the amount here and then you denote which is optional they press next and then you're going to enter your um, transaction pin and then you see your coin or your xrp in your binance wallet now please take note why did i say you should convert all your coins to xrp let me quickly say this because some people might ask now this is because um x for if you convert all your coins to xrp xrp the, the charges they will charge you um is actually very low compared to if you are um, withdrawing from bitcoin or ethereum you know luno, luno normally their charges are too high very too high honestly for me they are too high so i think xrp is the one with the lowest charges i think that's um they will charge you 
stable naira for um five thousand naira um, transaction. So we are sending Bitcoin worth of five thousand naira. We just charge you three naira. If it's that is um um Bitcoin now, I think the other one will be like maybe one fifty or I think that's quite high. So XRP is the lowest. That's why I say she convert all your coins to XRP and then once you've entered the wallet address and then the XRP tag, you enter the amount here and just press next. Then press your transaction um pin and then it will show you it, your um your XRP will be on your Binance wallet so that is how you can sell your cryptocurrencies or send your cryptocurrencies out of luno so these are the ways you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies easily using um roku and um buying and sorry using roku and luno so if you are using um binance and you really want to learn about the p2p on binance too i made that video some weeks ago i will show you the link up here right here you see it on the video or you can just wait to the end of the video to show on the end screen of the video so thank you for watching this video don't forget to you know, subscribe to my youtube channel um like this video you know support my youtube channel let's get to 1000 subscribers very very soon you know i really want to you know celebrate 1000 subscribers with you guys and also let's keep winning the cryptocurrency world i love you guys bye